Hi everybody, it's Tristan here from the EdTech Teacher and welcome to another tutorial video. Today, we're going to have a look at a fantastic resource called Flippity and we're going to go and explore how you can create some really exciting, engaging activities that your students can complete in the classroom. So let's get started and let's head over to the Flippity website to start investigating this amazing resource. Okay, so to access Flippity, we're just going to go to flippity.net. So that's F L I P I T Y dot net. Now, the great thing about Flippity is this is entirely free. There's nothing to pay and it's really simple to use. In fact, we're turning Google Spreadsheets, so Google Sheets, into a set of online activities. So let's go and have a look at some of the activities that are available with Flippity and let's create a few together so you can have a look at how easy and how amazing this website is. So I'm on the Flippity homepage here and you can see that there are a whole range of different applications, resources and activities that you can create using this amazing website. So one of my favorites that I like to use is this one here, the Flippity Random Name Picker. Now this is a fantastic one if you wanna use it in the classroom to get everybody involved. So you're not just having those few people answer or contribute to your lessons. The Random Name Picker is fantastic to use. In fact, I call it the um, everyone's favorite game and the kids just look at me like I'm absolutely crazy you know, they might not like it for a few seconds, but they get into it once we start to see the, um, the name picker working and it's really a, a great fun time for everybody. So let's go and have a look at this one first and see how easy it is to create using Flippity. So you'll notice that there's actually a demo which you can watch. So let's go and have a look at the demo just to make sure we know what we're doing. So we've got some options here. We've got a spinner a single name, a lineup, and then various groups and teams that we can also access. We can make this a full screen. We've got some information here for some instructions that we might like to add. And we can also add a timer to this particular example if we would like. So obviously, as the name suggests, it's a random name picker. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the arrow here or we're going to press the S button and it's going to spin our wheel. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? Look at the colors. And then it's going to land on a student. And in this case, it is Gary. So Gary would be asked to contribute, would be asked to share an answer, would be asked to do something. And then we would go again and find out who the next person is. Now, the really great thing about this is it's all about that probability. It's all about that chance. Are we going to see Gary's name come up again or is Gary going to miss out and only have to contribute once? Is that a student that's not going to be selected at all? There's so many numeracy elements that we can also integrate into this. So I think let's go and make our own up because it sounds and looks absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do is we are going to head back and create our own random name picker. To do that, we've got some instructions here and it's really important that you follow the instructions exactly as they're written because if you don't, it's not going to work. But essentially, it's really simple. You need to fill in the template. Don't touch any cells that have a blue background. That's a really important part of using Flippity. We then need to publish our spreadsheet to the web and then we will get our Flippity link. From that particular link, that's where we'll be able to access and use our particular creation. So let's get started. We're gonna make a copy of a spreadsheet that we are going to use. So let's make a copy of that. Right, from here, all we need to do is add our student names. Really simple. So because my EdTech teacher logo is in the way, I'm gonna move that to the other side of the screen here. What we're going to do is I'm gonna go and delete these student names here. And let's go and add some, let's add my name because I really wanna be in this one. Let's go and add Sarah. 
James, oops, James, not Hames, James, Benton, Grace, Kerry, and Elizabeth. Okay, so we've got our students now. What we need to do now that we have our students is we're going to head up to the file tab. We're going to scroll down to publish to the web and we're going to leave all of this as it is and we're going to publish this particular spreadsheet. It's going to ask us if we're sure we want to publish this section. We're going to write OK. We're just going to leave everything as is there and close that window. Then what we do is we're going to head down here to this tab that says get the link here. And this is where you will find our Flippity link. So we're going to now go to that Flippity link and we will find our random name generator. How easy and cool is that? Just gonna move my logo back over here. So again, if we press our arrow or the S key, it's going to create and, oh, it's landed on me. Yay, lucky I'm the one talking anyway. So there we go. The random name picker is a really fun interactive component that you can use from Flippity. It's something that I absolutely love doing in any class, even from very young students, all the way up to year 12 students love this. And it also gets everybody in the class contributing to the lesson, which I think is really important. As I mentioned, there's some other activities and other options here. We can just do one person at a time. We can create a lineup. We can have groups of people. We can have teams and we can even create a seating sh a seating chart as we can. I spelled Kerry's name there wrong, which I didn't notice. So sorry for any Kerry's out there who I may have insulted just then by spelling your name incorrectly. So the random name picker is a really cool function from Flippity. So let's head back to the home page and have a look at some of the other awesome things that you could do with Flippity. So just another suggestion for the name, random name picker. Um, you might even like to think about putting in some pictures, some images that you could use, for example, some settings from various for creative writing, some maths equations, some maths problems, some spelling words. There's so many things that you could do with the name picker that's not just focusing on picking a name. Another one of these awesome activities that I think would look great and would be really easy to use in the classroom is this flippity randomizer. So one of my colleagues and I, when we were looking at Flippity, had a look at this one, and we thought this would be fantastic when it comes to creative writing, if you're an English language teacher, or maybe looking at some kind of persuasion activity, if you're doing a bit of persuasive writing, who knows what you could do with this. This is the great thing about Flippity, is the ideas are absolutely endless. So right here, we've got four different columns. And when we spin the wheel, we're obviously going to end up with some kind of scenario that the students could write about. So let's go and have a look. Spinning all the wheels together. So Luke Skywalker, something about an alien invasion three months from now in a submarine. How great would that be to get the students to write something creative, something interesting, informative, persuasive, using all of these different components. So we've got the who, the what, the when, and the where. How cool is that? Really exciting, really fun, something a little bit different. So we've got an accountant, a severe drought yesterday, and a gingerbread house. What's gonna happen? Get the students to create something really creative using Flippity. So let's go and have a look at creating our own randomizer. Again, we need to make sure that we get the template, we publish to the web, and then we access our link. So let's go and have a look at the template. Again, we're gonna make a copy of that template. And then we can go and edit the template based on what we would like. So here's your chance to customize this for your particular year group, your particular topic, unit, whatever you are doing. So we're focusing on our who, who is involved, what is happening, when it's happening, and where that particular event is happening. How cool is that? We've even got an option here to add another column. So you might do a how. How is it happening? 
a really fun interactive activity that you can use in your classroom. So let's go back to Flippity and have a look at some of the other awesome activities that you could use and implement. We can create some board games here. We can create some manipulatives, a matching game, a bingo game. We can also have a typing test, which is fantastic because if we teach students, we know that sometimes their typing abilities aren't the greatest. So you might be able to go in there and work on developing their typing skills. You can turn a Google spreadsheet into a spelling word manager. How fantastic is that? Working on some spelling words, working on developing that capacity to spell those common words really, really easily by using something like the Flippity spelling words list. You can create a word search. We've got some crossword puzzles, a word scramble. We've got so many things that you can use using Flippity. It's a really great resource and the great thing is it's free, absolutely free. Now, if you want to use Flippity but you don't want to use the spreadsheet component, it's okay because they do actually have the ability to create a whole range of these activities without utilizing the spreadsheet. So all we're going to do here is edit the terms in the box below and click on the appropriate button to generate the selected Flippity activities without a spreadsheet. So even if you don't have access to Google Sheets, you can use and create some of these common Flippity activities without using Google Sheets. So go and have a look at Flippity. It's a really fun, interactive, exciting way to create some great activities for the kids. And best of all, it's absolutely free. It's one of our favorite prices as a teacher and it's really simple to do. So go in, have a play around, see what you can do. But just remember to follow those instructions for each template really carefully. Make sure that you're not writing anything in those blue cells because they are the cells that create the activity and make sure you publish to the web before you go and click on the Flippity link. Flippity is a really great resource that I highly recommend as an ed tech and myself, and it is a resource that I go to often to create really cool stuff for my classes. Well, I hope you've got a bit of an idea and are, are ready to go and have a look at Flippity and see what it can do in your classroom. Flippity is awesome, Flippity is fantastic, and Flippity is absolutely free. Well, I'm Tristan, I am the creator of the EdTech Teacher, and thank you so much for joining us in another quick tutorial video. Look, I would love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel, so please go and hit that subscribe button so that you can help us grow our channel. Well, that's it for this tutorial video looking at Flippity. I hope you've got some ideas. I hope you go and have a play with this fantastic resource. Well, until next time, everybody, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching this video from the EdTech Teacher. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up so that you can tell other people just how amazing the videos and tutorials are from the EdTech Teacher. And if you haven't done so already, we would love it if you would head over here and click the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget that once you've subscribed to our channel, to click the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are added to our channel. We are so grateful that you've taken the time to watch one of our videos, and we hope you come back very soon. Thanks very much from the EdTech Teacher.